everyone, I'm Kelly D, and today I am so excited to share today's recipe with you. Now the national dish of Barbados is cuckoo and flying fish. Growing up, I saw my mom laboring in the kitchen as she made this dish. She would be sweating and she would be there for hours. But today, I'm going to show you how to make cuckoo the easy way. So let's go over the ingredients. We have two cups of corn meal. We have half a pound of okras. Now it's important to get okras when they're soft and tender. If they're hard, that's not gonna work. So we're gonna cut the tops and the bottoms off of the okra. We're gonna then chop them roughly. The more you chop them, the more you will expose the little seeds that we see inside of the okra. That is where you will get the slime that we need to get our cocoa nice and soft. So half a pound of okra. One small onion chopped finely. One quarter of sweet pepper. We're gonna chop this one finely as well. And for the spices, we're gonna add quarter teaspoon of black pepper. You know we need the heat. And one teaspoon of paprika. And salt to taste. First step is to soak the cornmeal in water. Now many years ago, persons would make the okra slush and then add the cornmeal when it's dry and that takes hours and hours but now we are going to soak our cornmeal first and allow it to just stay here for a few minutes while we make the okra slush we're going to make our okra slush so we have some water boiling just about three cups of water in the pot boiling so we're going to add our okras this is going to make this slush and we're going to add all of the other ingredients. We're going to add the onions. We're going to add the sweet pepper and then our seasonings. And then we'll allow this to boil for about eight to 10 minutes. This is going to make our okra slush. You're going to see the okras are going to become nice and tender. Our okra slush is finished. Just look at it. Just get a close up. It has gotten really thick. And you can see how slimy it is and slightly discolored because of the paprika. So now we're going to pour some of this into a large glass bowl. And then we're going to leave the remainder in the saucepan and we're going to add our cornmeal. We're going to add our cornmeal we've had it soaking for a couple of minutes we're going to add it now to the okra slush now i would have added a little bit of the okra slush water to the cornmeal mixture now we're going to add it all into the okra slush and from the time we get it all in we're going to start to stir it with something we have called a cuckoo stick it's just like a wooden spoon but it's not a spoon it's a stick so we need to be constantly stirring it and we do this constantly because we don't want to get any lumps so i'll just do this and i'll let you see how it turns out now you will see our cuckoo is really starting to thicken up but if you look closely at it you can still see that the grains of the cornmeal are still pronounced so it means we have to keep beating it a bit more to allow it to get really really fine then we'll know that it's fully cooked so we'll keep beating this some more and at the very end we're going to add the remaining okras that we have from the okra slush that we poured off we're going to add that to the remaining cuckoo so we'll just continue to beat it on a very low heat now until it is completely cooked our cuckoo is now finished when you see it coming apart from the sides then you can see it is done and the grains are not as pronounced they're getting finer and finer so we're going to add the last bit of okras that we had from our okra slush and then we're going to get ready to taste our cuckoo is now finished just look at it now i put it into a nice container to get this beautiful shape now the best part is to taste just look at that gorgeous color mm. really good 
cuckoo pairs best with a fish dish. For our national dish, we always use cuckoo with flaying fish. Now, you need to try it. Sure.